I have to burn in my new Tundra wood stove. Still in the box from Nyko. This company that makes these stoves is from Oregon. Yeah. Well, I'm Oregon. And the reason I bought this stove is it's a little bit smaller in size than my previous Wilderness 3, which was an awesome stove. I really loved it. But this one breaks down. It's supposed to collapse down and folds into a nylon carrying case. So in the interest of maybe saving some space somewhere down the line, I thought I'd try one of these. Okay, I think this is probably the spark arrester. Obviously the stove pipes here. The damper. I guess that's part of the carrying case? I don't know. Wow. You know, it might be a takedown stove, but it's still pretty heavy. Over 40 pounds. It's heavy duty item. Unfold the legs. Right. Set upright. Okay, these aren't the legs because these were welded. So that you know this is the top. Shit. Where's the bags at? I bet they're in the stovepipe. Ah, voila! Are they attached to that piece? Yes. Okay. I figured they had to be attached because it was. Good man, we got to start. Give me that bag. I mean, there's no. You know. All right, we're off and running. He found the legs. Okay, there's the first part of the puzzle solved the bottom of the stove the tundra stove is really simple to put together but we hit a snag I'll show you what that is it's a weld right here this corner weld too fat too much material there it makes this side of the stove stand up and we can't put the clip on this side so I'm going to go and find my file and we're going to file that down and see if we can get everything to fit because I'm up here for a month living in this tent and it is cold. It's in the 30, high 30s right now and last night it rained and snowed a little and there's snow up in the, up in the high country so I definitely need a wood stove. I have to get into my dry tent and unfortunately the file is in the big box okay here's my dry tent where I keep all my equipment uh, all the food all the the bags and boxes for my gear and the file is somewhere in this thing so let me find the file and then we'll see if we can make that stove work well, it's about 30 minutes later. We're still filing on the two lumps of weld. That's the big one. That's the smaller one. This is the one that's a real obstruction. And as you can see, the weather is now turned completely to shit. Come on, Nyko. This sh you guys should assemble these things and make sure everything fits before it leaves the factory. Control on your welds. Yeah. We should have a fire going in it by now. We've been messing with it for an hour. There. Now that end piece and then we'll see what we got. Hand me that top there. Yeah. No. That's the heavy part. That thing's heavy. Alright, let me go. Alright, top to the rear. Moment of truth. So, put, oh, that son of a bitch. is it it's, almost down? Oh yeah. Maybe we got it. Put the other side strap on though too. Put that on first, maybe. Maybe that might help. Let me see. All right, what's, this is the problem flip side. This around. So that was at the back. Now. Let's see if this if this one is the good side or whatever. Oh yeah. All right. Here's the good one. <laughs> oh, this is the good side strap. Because we flipped oh, it around. Okay. I, yeah. yeah. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how easy that goes on. 
that's the way they're supposed to go on. This one here, not so much. Huh? Look at that. Look at that. You're the man. You're the stove man. Yeah. You're the tin can man. Tin. All right. The tin man. All right. Well, it looks like we did it. Right, so Hopefully, after I use this thing for a month, we can. That's flat. I can tap it off. It but. need to be in the center here because it's flushing out of here on yeah. this edge, so it's it's not going to come off. Okay. But will it come off? Oh yeah, it will. So tap it on. Oh yeah, Piece tap it on some more. Right, yeah. Tap it on with a. Oh yeah. Hey, go ahead. Don't worry about it. It'll. Uh... Okay. Ouch. Well. I guess that's how you fix a tundra stove that won't go together. It'll come. It'll come apart. So because the uh, side straps won't fit, or one of them. So you just gotta do look it. at your welds in there. All right, get the stove pipe assembled, put the damper in, and then Woo! get a fire going. This baby. Voila! Success. Yeah, that's probably good. Oh, you Where's the puck flakes? Oh, I just scrunch them all. What do they do? Oh, there they are. What now the, watch that. What, what the, the puck? puck? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing take off. Yeah. That's why we love the puck. Here it goes. Of course, we don't have all the stovepipe on. Just enough to get a get it up and away from us. But look at that. The first smoke from a brand new Tundra. Take down wood stove. Yeah, we got off to kind of a rocky start, but I'm liking it now. It's cute. There it is. It's a heavy little dude. There's my tundra stove. You know, I brought it up here from home in a great big box. Of course, I got the stove pipes I gotta take down. You'll have to go in separately, but that's a hell of a lot more compact than the previous wood stove I had. So I like that. That's great. And uh, I don't know, I don't see any holes in the bag. I thought sure it was ripping at one point but well we'll see anyhow i like it glad i bought it